Hey guys, so today I'm going to be answering the question, is a 240 hertz monitor worth it? So if you're watching this video, I am assuming that you've seen those videos of tech reviewers reviewing some newfangled 240 hertz monitor and you see what it can do and you want one for yourself. Well, I am here to answer the question, is it really worth it? Roll the intro. So before I get into this, I want to tell you what a 240Hz monitor actually does. So what a 240Hz monitor does is that it basically just refreshes the entire screen 240 times a second as opposed to 60 times a second or 120 times a second. The advantages are that it is more suited for gamers who want a faster reaction time and also want a much smoother gaming experience if their computer can handle it. The disadvantages are that it can be a lot more expensive than regular 60 hertz or 120 hertz monitors. And another disadvantage is that if you have a 240 hertz monitor, but you also use a 60 hertz monitor, that other monitor can be pretty hard to look at because your perspective of it has changed. The reason why I got this is because I wanted to improve faster at the games I was playing. Now, by getting a 240 hertz monitor, you're also taking a lot of risks. One of them is the very high price. For the price of a 1080p 240 hertz monitor, you can get a 1440p 144 hertz monitor or even like a nice big 4k 60 hertz monitor another huge risk you're taking is the manufacturing defects with the screen with a higher refresh rate monitor especially if you don't pay as much more of the budget is going into the technology that drives the 240 hertz refresh rate and not the technology of the screen itself the computer that's inside the monitor has the ability to drive my 240 hertz display but it also has a bright spot and a dark green stock pixel which hasn't gone away since i bought it yes it was like that out of the box and those defects are apparently perfectly normal i don't know why it's normal because it annoys the living out of me but yeah <laughs> although there are some expensive 240 hertz monitors out there such as the samsung odyssey g9 which has a crazy amount of manufacturing defect reports according to samsung especially during the year of release that monitors two thousand dollars by the way so you should really really be careful if you don't want a stock pixel on your monitor another risk you're taking is that you wouldn't even know if your computer can output at 240 hertz before you even try it you could have a good computer but if it can't output these higher refresh rates then what is the point of paying a premium for a 240 hertz monitor if your computer can't even output it in the first place this desktop back here can only output up to 100 hertz and yes i tried it so that wraps up this video is a 240 hertz monitor worth it only if you're an avid gamer. I wouldn't really recommend it for a different category of people, especially if you're trying to save some money. I would much, much recommend higher resolution 60, 75, or 120 hertz displays. The reason being is because you don't need a higher refresh rate to do your business work or content creation. What should have a higher priority on your monitor list is screen resolution because you can fit more things on the screen at the same time. A higher resolution can also make it easier to ignore these manufacturing defects such as stuck pixels or dead pixels. So yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye!